my channel Lynette here and today I just this is an impromptu video because I wasn't planning on um, um, recording today it's really hot really hot Texas is hot okay the grass has crumbled basically my gra I have no grass in the backyard <laughs> it's yellow because of the triple digit um, temperatures but I did want to uh, show you something. I was wondering what this tree was. I was looking at this tree, but more so I was wondering what this was all around the garden. And I'm gonna just let you see. Okay, as you can see, I've been wondering what these little things are that are just falling. And I'm like, where is this coming from? I've noticed them all on the ground here. And then I come over here to this is my poor uh, strawberry uh, bush it's pretty much dried up because I, I just can't keep it um, watered but then over here too I noticed this and I said what is this this look like blueberries I mean look at that they're all split open though that's on the ground and then I come over here to this tree and I'm like, lo and behold, do y'all see that? I don't know if you can see it. The lightning. Let's see if we can go in to some of this. If we can get to some of it. Where's the, the, oh, right there. Y'all see those? Skirt. Let's go a little more in. Boom, y'all see those? Blueberries, this is a blueberry tree right in the corner of, here's one right here. If I can get it right there. Oh, y'all see that? And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Right in the corner of my backyard. I did not know I had a blueberry tree. I'm gonna be picking the heck out of these. And look how big they are. I need a ladder. 
I was looking at this tree and I was wondering what up uh, when they were small. I was like, what is this growing on this tree? And I was gonna cut this tree down. I told my husband he needs to cut this tree down. I thought it was a cottonwood tree. And so, yeah, I, I just can't believe it. I have a blueberry tree and I love blueberries. So uh, we finna get these blueberries. Let me go out. Y'all, I just got some of these. These are not blueberries. I don't know, they're sweet and sour. Can someone tell me what this is? What are these? When you pull them off, they start to kind of wilter a little bit. Somebody can tell me what they think these are. They look like this before they start growing. Let me see if I can get, let me see. Oh, they look like this here before they start growing. What is this? I don't know. Yeah, if somebody can let me know what this is, because I'm up here in this tree. I tasted them and they're, they're a little sweet, more sour, a little sour, sweet, almost like a grape. They have a tough outer shell, so I don't know what they are. Better not eat too many because I don't know how my body's going to react. But um, I guess I'll look up and see what the blueberry tree leaves look like. I mean, it still may be that, but it's, it feels, it tastes a little tougher than the blueberries that we eat on a regular basis. That We went to a blueberry farm and they had like bushes. I guess they did have a tree too. But the trees are smaller and maybe because this one is grown that it is like this. Um, but yeah, if you know what this is, let me know. I came down here. Let me show you with my, um, y'all see that? With my ladder. I was like, oh, we're going to figure this out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We're going to figure it out. So y'all let me know what you think. Um, yeah. So they have seeds also that's another clue i don't think blueberries is supposed to have seed this actually has a seed within itself so um yeah i know that some of my more uh herbalists that are that forge probably know what this tree is i'm gonna be looking it up and see what i found and if by the time i post this i find the tree um i'll just insert it <laughs> Where are you trying to get to, Alakai? Come on. Hey. Come on, come on. Get a running jump. channel and as you can see we're out here in nature again I got my 
friend baby say hi yeah we're taking a walk and we just got out early he woke me up way early too early this morning on a Sunday and um yeah I mean he just wouldn't go back to sleep normally he wakes up and he goes back to sleep but today <laughs> It was before the crows. I mean, he was just up and he stayed up playing. And so I decided just to get up. And we got breakfast in early for him. I didn't eat anything for some reason. Some mornings I just don't feel like eating. So we didn't get any breakfast in. But so we just said, well, you know what? He had all this energy. Let's just get rid of some of this energy and go for a walk. So that's what we're doing. We're out here enjoying nature. And as you can hear, the locusts are up early with us <laughs> because it's pretty loud out here. Um, so yeah, I do have a uh, I have a microphone. I think I'm gonna have to start bringing my microphone because. No. Yeah, with all the nature, and also you can hear traffic. Somehow it echoes amongst the trees, and so I'm going to have to start bringing my microphone. But yeah, we're just enjoying ourselves. Yeah. I don't know. I just, uh, this morning... I don't know, the thought came to my mind because I've been watching, uh, of course, a lot of uh, vloggers and other perspectives of um, this world we're in. And so a lot of questions came to mind as normal that I thought, you want to get down or up, honey? Which way are you trying to get? You want to go down? Okay, we'll go down. Put your cup. Keep your cup. Why don't you put your cup over there until you're ready for it? You don't want to get your cup dirty. You just want to swing. Okay, we're gonna get up, get down. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah. I haven't worried my hair down. I need to keep wiping this head like it's something not supposed to be here. It's all of this. All of this. Now I might keep it up in a ponytail. Yeah. That's right. Is that right? You want to go play in the grass? All right. Push the swing. You going to push the swing? Yeah, this the swing. <laughs> Wee, that's what it does. Wee. Yeah. <laughs> You got something you're telling the people. You I should. don't know. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. One day we'll be able to understand it. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's nice and it was warmer out there than underneath these trees. It's just gorgeous out here but um that's why I, did, I don't mind coming out even when it feels like it may be a little warm because um 
when the wind is blowing and the breeze is hidden the way it is and the shade and underneath all this luscious yeah. trees it's just so beautiful but anyway i was thinking about the world you know as we see it a lot of people call this world some people i've heard them refer to it as maya um others matrix and um you know and i think and I, the question was uh what well, was really no question i guess it was just the realization that these terms, I think Maya means uh, maybe the land of illusion or Aye. the passing. There's a number of terminology for Maya. Aye. Don't hit the button, Alakai. And so um, there's a number of uh, definitions for Maya and Matrix. Aye. I don't do that. Anyway, as I was saying before I was uh, distracted, <laughs> was they considered the world as the land of um, illusion, Maya, or Matrix. It's like we're plugged in. Oh, something just hit me from the, from the trees. But anyway, yeah, we're plugged in to um, the world or this matrix. Some people say it's called the matrix. And I think they call it illusion. Illusion doesn't mean that it's not real. It's just that um, it's appearing as something it's not. And when I uh, contemplate that, um, when you think of the world as appearing as is it not, it's just like um, I don't know when you think about how the world was created uh, within this space that everything you know arises within this space this space that I call since God is infinite he's here too we can't see him but we know he's there he blew that breath, that breath of consciousness, awareness, life, whatever we want to call it. Um, we are that breath. And so um, when you look at everything that arises in it, it is this form of a consciousness, awareness. All is God. And if we want to consider God as a pure awareness or consciousness, then that's what this is. So... Um, when you look at it, um, you know, it appears when we look to perceive a tree, we perceive that as a tree. Thank you. We perceive this wood as a piece of wood, but all is the Almighty since everything arises. This is the activity of um, that creation. Uh, the creation, I mean, is the activity hey. of the Almighty. Hey, so all is yeah. consciousness. And even scientists, they, they look, they call it matter. But when they go to look and they blow it up, magnify it, um, until it's really blown up, they find that nothing's there. They can't find this form. <laughs> That they just consider matter, but when, uh, in truth, they have never been able to find what they call matter. They say it's a fractal. Even our DNA is just a fractal of everything, this universe. Um, so everything that's in the universe is encoded in that DNA. So that's that world of what we call Maya or the Matrix. Um, some people may say it's elusive, it's an illusion because of the fact that uh, when you go to look at it further and get investigation, when you take that further investigation, you find that uh, nothing's there. <laughs> There's no real thing called matter. It's all consciousness. And it moves within different waveforms, which how we are able to perceive it in different forms or functions. Um, but it's the beauty to me that just 
all goes back to the beauty of the Almighty. He is uh, the source that which we all are uh, come from, arise within. And uh, it's just so magnificent. It's so much more. We, it's no words can express um, what this is. And so that's why I love to come into um, places like this where nature is just abundant. I love to plant. I mean, just being. It doesn't even have to be outside. It could be inside, just within myself. Um, resonates that vibration or that activity of the Almighty and it's just so comforting um, to be in a, come on you coming up recognition of his creation yeah or the realization of the true nature of ourselves is just beautiful. <laughs> so that's what I want to talk about the world really. What is the world? I mean, that we see as all these objects that we have planted names on. Um, is it an illusion? Is it a matrix? Is it this Maya that they call uh, the land of the past and the land of delusion? Um, there's other names. But is it that? And I guess to each one it would be something different depending on your perspective. Um, maybe that's all it is, is just perception. Because what we call a tree somewhere else, they call it a, what is it, arbol. <laughs> In Spanish, somewhere else, they call it something else, you know. Um, so, have fun with your perceptions. Don't, don't, I wouldn't take anything too seriously. I think when we start making things concrete in our minds that this should be this and that should be that, and that's when we limit ourselves. And as you can see, the Almighty, He's not limited. He is infinite. There's infinite possibilities uh, in creation. And so, um, since, in my experience, that um, wherever the Almighty is, there is creation. Because I'm part of that. I'm a part of this creation. Part of the activity um, of the Source. Almighty, Yah, whatever you want to refer, um, the Supreme Consciousness Awareness. I'm part of that uh, activity. So, in my experience, wherever the source is, there is activity. So, wouldn't there say, wouldn't it be, is it too much to consider that maybe? Uh, since he is infinite, then the possibilities are infinite. The creation is infinite. Um, are there other worlds? Are we the only worlds? There it says, biblically it says the heavens and the earth. But we all know that uh, we've all been told there's other planets. I don't believe that there, we're just the only activity is here you know on earth there's possibly if he is infinite then activity is infinite because that is the activity of the almighty if the almighty is infinite then his activity is infinite and so that's how i see it i can't i have to consider that there's more not only on top of this earth but inside the earth there may be other things that are moving and have their being that breath that we are breathing maybe with different vessels as we have but we all have vessels but we all emanate from that one source and that is this world this this activity of the almighty is coming from that source so that's what i see when i see the world i see wherever your imagination can go then 
the, the almighty source has probably already done that. <laughs> it's already there, you know? Whatever that you can imagine. So when I really had the airplane, when you go back to um, movies and things of that nature, I had to unplug in order to really find myself uh, the truth of myself where there is no fear, where there's not um, suffering, where uh, the lack of, you know, things that are just not in the nature of that love and peace. Um, and just newness in the moment every day. Uh, I had to turn away from the objects, the objectivity of... Um, of this what we call life we are the life though um because we are that activity but i had to turn away from that in order to find this quietness inside of me and once i did then turning back to the world the world it became a lot more clearer a lot more um I just guess there's it came more of a realization on uh, of the nature I guess the nature of how uh, I experienced the world or how the world is experienced um, through this life source I look at him and he's playing and what I don't even it, 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 I haven't given it, well, I called it dirt, so maybe he knows it as dirt. Prior to that, he didn't know it was anything. He just knew the sensations on his hands and how it looks. And then we give it a name. Those are rocks, Alakai. You're playing in the dirt and the rocks. Whoa! But to me, if we come into the world as a child, Hi. and I know... Biblically, it talks about that. It talks about entering the world as a baby. And so, in order to really find that true space inside each one of us, this is how we have to come in. This baby doesn't know he's a boy until we tell him he's a boy. Not that, you know, we still don't say you have genitalia that is, uh, you know, a boy. <laughs> of course we'll you know we'll we'll do that but also but from his perspective he's just experiencing a bull and so that was what or data I felt now looking retrospectively back at that that I just unplugged I unplugged from all conditioning all cultural, you know, conditionings and uh, labels. I just unplugged. I stopped watching TV for a while and I went inside myself. And I explored everything. I, I wanted to know, you know, I just, first I said quietly. And just experienced myself. And then once I come to, came into the recognition of my true self. My true, to where there's, where well, my true home, I will call it, to where there's love, peace joy then I can turn back and look at the world in that same perspective and that to me became um, that is my reality but I realized that this is not reality all things that are phenomenal phenomenal which is able to be perceived or recognized um, from is not reality it's changing it can't be real. But the one thing that's not changing is the source and that breath that he blew on me. It's, it's always the same. Basically, 
my perspective of the world and the way that, you know, I perceive it, the way that I have realized, I've come into the realization of that truth and the truth that's in me. The source is the truth. And so, um, yeah, when they say life is a game, believe it. <laughs> Not that we go through life harming and hurting others. That doesn't mean we take the game uh, to destructive, you know, levels. But it means uh, be like that child that enter in to, you know, and, and just let everything be new. Let everything be fresh full of love, full of joy. Enjoy your experiences. If something doesn't go the way that you uh, envision it, stop envisioning it. things. Stop having projections, you know, so that when things happen, it's all new. And there was no expectation, so no one got let down. There was no person there in order to be let down. There was just um, this awareness, enjoying its experiences. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here because this is almost like a vlog contemplation of the heart. Um, but I thought I would leave you with that. Um, sometimes I feel like when I'm getting these contemplations out, sometimes I feel like I'm really in the flow. Other times I'm thinking, I feel like I'm more uh, jumping around, but it's, it's all okay because it's, the way it comes out is the way I'm going to give it. You know, uh, if um, this this little one right here, <laughs> when he's here, it's hard to keep. You know, the thought process is uh, flowing, or it's uh, it's hard to keep the attention on where it, uh, here. I'm kind of spread out. The attention is kind of uh, there too. So if it sounds a little bit uh like I was jumping all over then you can say he has a lot to do with that because <laughs> I'm making sure he stays within eyesight but he's enjoying himself I'm gonna let him get as dirty as he wants to today look at that he's enjoying yeah that's right yeah <laughs> You doing a, a yodel call? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're having a good time. He's been playing out in this dirt, granite, sand. It's awesome though. I love it because I can get my little swing on. Let's get a swing on. He's getting me all dirty. We try to come out a, another time, and um, I'm a. I think I've either plugged some of that in already, and um, re. But I may plug in the time we were in before I tried to uh, speak. But this little one, and we came late then, and we didn't really have time to do that. It, it just seemed. I don't know. I just couldn't get in the flow there, so I said, "Don't even force it." Don't force it. If it's not there, don't force it. Just let everything work. <laughs> that generally does better. Isn't that right, Alakai? Isn't that right? You want to come up here and rock? Come on. Let's come up here and rock. Ugh. You didn't put, you want to push? Come on. Uh-oh, shoot. I don't know what's wrong with this for some reason. Yay, uh-oh. Yay! Yay! You having fun? The squeaking noise is loud for those who can't stand squeaking. Sorry. You having fun? Yeah, you're enjoying that, aren't you? I'll go a little higher. Wee! Wee! <laughs> it's so fun. 
show you his feet. They have gotten dirty, huh? That's okay. That's okay. We gotta take a picture. Come on, let's take a picture. Yay! Right there. Yay! You're gonna click it. Click no, it no! Go like a girl. Oh shoot, what did I do with it? I put it here. These things have a little you can click. It's pretty neat. But those I'm gonna just screenshot. That's what I do with a lot of my pictures. I don't take thumbnails. I don't like take pictures for my thumbnails. I just go through it and like if I look too left or something, I'll just you know, pause it and snapshot of action. Motion, I guess, pictures. There's a lot of uh. Guess we'll sign out here. Back over here, bring your milk. Come back over here. Don't go too far. I don't know what that is. Let me go investigate what he's picking up. Oh, it's just some. Okay, those are good. You can mess. You can play with those. Come on. Come back this way. Come closer. Come closer this way. I don't want you to get too far off. Come on. Push it. Where are you going, man? Huh? Where are you going, man? You ready to walk? Ooh, there's some big old ants. I have never seen ants that big. Ooh, that's a big ant. Look at that. Ooh, that's a big ant. I'm telling you, these Texas bugs, they grow to an outstanding, an outstanding size. I wonder about what these bugs are in the, it's underneath ground. I bet they're just huge. Who knows? Alright, we're getting ready to go for a walk. Oh, that is so cute. What you looking at, Alaka? You see yourself? Get off the floor, little man. Alright, let's walk. I'm ready to move now. Let's enjoy, enjoy, and and enjoy it. Look, he did it. Just, 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 just enjoy it. Just, just, enjoy it. Just, just, enjoy it. He's so fun. All right, let's get your shoes on. Gotta put your shoes on. Get out. There's literally an ant right by you. All right, come on. Let's remember I talked about the grounding. What's wrong? Oh, you want your shoes on? Okay. I just want to show them that I'm grounding. See? Y'all can see my feet. All right, I'm gonna put your shoes on, Alakai. 
I just want to show them that I was grounded. I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. Ouch. Ooh, this granite hurts. All right. Come on. You push the uh, stroller. Come on. Either you want to get in the stroller while we walk. Let's get in the stroller. Come on. Let's put you in the stroller a little bit. Or you want to walk some. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yeah, we got it. Okay, now. All right, come on. Careful. Hold on to the stroller. Hold on to it. There you go. There you go. And then when you get tired, we will uh, let you get in it. Let's push this out here. Okay. All right. We'll walk. All right, man. You stepping, huh? Yeah, he said he's stepping. All right. Ooh, there's some mud coming up. Oh, no, we can't go that way. Oh, we can, and I'll just get you over it. Here, let's get close. And I'll have to just put you over the mud. I don't want you to step in this mud. All right, here. Let's jump over this mud. Come on, we gotta get you over the mud. All right, stand up, go there. All right, let me get this. That was a weird deal. Huh? Alakai, you love climbing, don't you? Come on. Get down. Come on. Come on, let's continue our walk. Come on. This is beautiful. You see that? Yeah, I, I thought it was part of the tree until I just seen it sitting there on top of that, trying to look like that flower. He's a chameleon. Trying to look like that plant, I mean. Hilarious. Where are you going, little one? Uh, yeah, I don't know how you feel. It's because you're trying to push it up a hill. Come on. Why? Come on. All right, come on, let's go. On a path. Ooh, I feel it. It's starting to get a little warmer my cue to uh, head back to the house. We're going to go to Whole Foods. I want a uh, I 
I'm gonna get some breakfast from Whole Foods. Sometimes I just like to go and uh, eat from their, uh, you know, just get a variety of little fruit and, and um, hot foods. They have hot foods that you can assortment. You know, I just like to eat that because it's a variety. I'll get cold and hot. And sometimes they'll have breakfast there and then a smoothie i love those smoothies the no you that's mine this is yours here yeah drink it are you thirsty you you feeling that heat too huh there you go you want to sit here come on let's sit you let's sit in there sit down ah look at him he's like i am Wore out. I gotta get you in here right now. So that's where we're going next. That's if somebody doesn't have to go potty. Now, the funny thing about my baby <laughs> was that uh, he took forever to walk. I mean, he could, he's been standing since he was about five, six months old. You know, um, always standing getting up from and on and off the ground but for some reason he had this extreme fear of oh shoot I just saw a snake oh yeah that's another uh, sign for me to go ahead and uh, let nature <laughs> be here but it's still beautiful it's a gardener snake but um yeah uh, took him forever I mean he just he would take a step, and I was like, oh, okay, he's getting ready to walk. And then it'd be another two months, take a step, a couple more steps. Yeah, oh, he's getting ready to walk. He did that for over a year, okay? So for two years that he learned how to walk. But the first time I put him on the potty, he goes the very first time, within five minutes. And since I've kind of watched him, I know what time he has to use the bathroom. Uh... You know, I put them on there early in the morning. I know around each meal, you know, he goes. And then that's, you know, once before bed. And it's like clockwork. He's going. If you don't put him on there now, he's still going to go. But <laughs> to be on himself. But he will go in the potty. You just got to know the times. It's like, you know, uh, like I said, it's like clockwork. And so, but this morning, he had a lot of cheese yesterday. He didn't go this morning. So, we'll see if we can make it uh, to Whole Foods or not without him uh, having to go to the pop pot. He'll say it. He'll say pop pot, but then he'll just go if he, he's not immediately placed on there, you know. Uh, but he's not consistent with saying pop pot. He's consistent with going, though. <laughs> basically if you miss it that's just it so anyway that's what we're going to I'm trying to find the shaded areas to walk through because yeah Texas has been in the triple digits and that's what we're feeling that's where we're at I'm feeling like it's triple digits but uh, it's only I'm protected now because of this shade but the minute I hit a sunny patch that's over so that's what I'm gonna do so um, thought came to mind when I was talking about uh, we're here to enjoy our experiences you know um, in our true nature and then some people you know may say you know well what if you had the experience of rape molestation drugging or, you know just some unpleasant experience Can you enjoy that? I'm going to have to say, those are not enjoyable. <laughs> you know, experiences. But can you learn? Yes. Do you have to suffer over those experiences? I have to say, in my experience, I've been through a lot. I've been through, through uh, things that have been extremely unpleasant. Do I have to suffer? Do I have to play that in my head over and over? And then when you come to the realization, am I this body? The 
avatar, you know, this body, this vessel may have gone through um, some experiences. But did I really go through these experiences? Awareness, can awareness be raped or molested or, you know, or any of that? Can consciousness um, be affected? Is the consciousness sad? Is it angry? Uh, is it happy? <laughs> You know, I know that uh, for my mind, we have the perception of thoughts, feelings, um, um, joy, emotions. But who was it that really experienced those unpleasant um, experiences, you know, when it comes to that and overall? Is there a person, only a person can, um, which is a fictitious entity, can truly um, feel like it's suffering. <laughs> because in my experience, my true nature, there is none of that. It's just peace. It is love. Our true nature is that of love, of knowing. But it's not these sensations that come from the external. So yes, there will be these valleys during, you know, which we call suffering or whatever we perceive it as, hurt, harm. They may, they may come, but um, they're passing like everything else phenomenal. But we are the unchanging, we are that truth, we are that love that will remain in the midst of all. And so it may appear like sometimes there is a valley. But it may just be a, a learning, an experience that comes and goes, um, that we don't cling on to, uh, that we can uh, actually may uh, assist someone else you go through these intervals in life and you know these are just intervals as long as we know that um, there's no attachment even to these experiences that we can still live in the moment of each day because if it happened yesterday then it did happen nothing happened right did anything really happen since we're the unchanging amongst all the happenings. Um, truth, nothing really happens. <laughs> so each moment is new, is fresh, is full of love. That's how I look at it. Whether something, we can really choose whether it's an event or not an event. And anything that's not in the moment now is not an event for me. And so that's how I come to the realization of staying in the newness of this love and then the Bible talks about this newness be renewed something about being renewed you know that means that yeah in the midst of all this changing every day we should be have this renewing we should live in the moment um, we're still thinking about what happened yesterday last week five minutes ago then um that will create an imbalance you know not to say that these things are all experiences should be pleasant they're not gonna be and that's okay too can't get used to a feeling or get attached to a feeling and then you'll have uh, that's more of a what we call um expectations or putting projections on feelings you have to know that these two are changing and so um, yeah that can help someone hopefully that helps someone um, it surely helped me I've been through a lot I've been through a lot more than this smile 
will share so I, I understand it from that vantage point too but um, I'm not there I'm here <laughs> and here it's beautiful anyway thought I'd leave you with that anyway my loves thank you for coming along with me on this vlog slash contemplation of the heart um yeah um remember to like share and subscribe i was getting ready to say something else but i've already said that i already said i may add something else in here and then if not it's okay i'll just leave it here but thank you for watching this video remember to like share and subscribe remember that you are beautiful and i love you